Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 series. My Samsung tablet is the S9 Plus, updated to One UI 6, but a lot of these tips will also work on older Samsung devices. So if you want to learn how to get more use out of your Samsung tablet, then stay tuned to find out all of my favorite tips. This next tip is about lock screen customization and widgets. So you can tap on the clock to bring up all of your widgets and you can have a Spotify music widget which allows you to play music and control what you're listening to directly from the lock screen. And if you tap on settings, you can then come to this panel where you can customize which widgets you would like to see. And you can also long press in the middle of the lock screen to customize it. And this allows you to change the size of the clock and you have some different styles here. And you can also change the font as well as the color scheme. This next tip is one of my favorite features. And to do this, I'm just going to open up gallery in a split screen window. And with this tip, you can lift any object out of a photo or background. So I'm just going to long press on this object and you can see it's lifted that out of the background. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it onto my page. And if I zoom in, you can see it's done a pretty good job of cutting that out of the background. Another thing you can do is go to the image in your gallery. And here I just have this image with a white background. And then I'm going to long press on it and then tap save as image. And what this will do is create an identical image without the white background. And this is very useful if you're taking some notes or maybe you're digital journaling and you can just easily remove the background. This app that I'm using is called Penly and I mainly use it for digital planning and journaling, but you can also use it to take notes. Another cool feature is that you can now make stickers out of images. So you can just long press on the object and then save as sticker and you can find all your stickers in your keyboard under the emoji section, and then just go to the gallery tab. And here you can see all the stickers that you have created. You can scan documents using the camera and it will automatically tidy up and brighten your scan. To set this up, you want to go into your camera settings and then turn on scan documents and text. Samsung's Dex mode gives you more of a desktop experience and you can turn it on by going into the control panel and tap on the Dex icon. With the One UI 6 update, Samsung made some changes to Dex mode and I actually prefer the old one. And you can go back to the original by long pressing on the Dex icon and just choose the classic option. And you can see this looks more like a desktop with the menu bar at the bottom and the icons on the side. Desk mode is great for multitasking because you can open up lots of windows and resize each one how you like. There's also the option to pin windows to the top and change the transparency. You can find more of your apps down here at the bottom as well as the option to come out of desk mode. One of my favorite S Pen features is handwriting to text. This is especially useful for note taking and digital planning when you don't have the neatest handwriting. To turn this on, you want to go into settings and then search for S Pen to text. And you can see here it is. So you can just enable it from here. And then using note taking apps like Penly, you can just go on your page and tap on the text tool and then make sure you've chosen your font and then just tap anywhere on the page where you want to write and then just handwrite and it will automatically convert into font. You can handwrite in search bars and web browsers. And this is really convenient if you work a lot with the S Pen in hand. The Galaxy tab is great for multitasking and you can drag and drop images and text between apps using a split screen view. So the quickest way to create a split screen view for me is to go down into this navigation bar, long press on the app and then drag and drop it to the side. If your app is not showing up in the bottom here, you can also tap on this icon and choose your app from the list. You can tap on the three dots in the middle to change the arrangement of the apps. And you can also long press on the three dots to resize the windows. To save this arrangement, you can tap on the three dots, tap on the star icon, and then you can choose to add this to the taskbar, home screen, or the edge panel. And then you can just tap on the icon to bring everything open up again. At the top of each window, you also have this quick options bar, which gives you more options, such as creating a pop-up window. Another way of creating a pop-up window is to long press and drag and drop the app into the middle of the screen. And then you can resize the window and move it around. 
You can use your Samsung tablet as a second display for your Windows computer. To set this up, you need to go into the control panel and tap on a second screen. And then on your Windows computer, press the Windows key plus K, and you can then select your Samsung tablet and choose to extend the display. Now you can move Windows between the two devices, and this is really useful for when you need some extra screen space. You can also cast your Samsung tablet screen onto a larger display. And for this, you may need to do some initial setup. Then you just need to go into the Samsung control panel and tap on Smart View, and then just choose the device you want to use. Modes allow you to set different use scenarios for your tablet to help you stay focused, avoid distractions, and change device settings to suit what you're doing. To set up different modes, you can swipe from the top to access the control panel, and then swipe again, and then come here to modes, and then just long press on this. And come down to the bottom and tap on add mode to customize your own. So I'm going to call this study and you can choose a color and icon. And here you can add conditions for when you want to start this mode. So I'm going to set it so that it automatically triggers when I open my study app. And here you can customize what happens when this mode is on. For example, do not disturb and restrict using certain apps. And you have other actions such as grayscale or eye comfort shield for if you're going to be reading. And you can also customize the lock screen and home screens. And then to enable that mode, you can just swipe from the top, go to modes, and then choose the one you want. And you can also change modes directly from the lock screen. This next tip is great if you like to customize your Galaxy Tab. So in the Galaxy Store, you can search for this app called Pentastic. Inside Pentastic, you can customize the appearance of the Air Command panel, as well as what the S Pen pointer looks like. So you have these different options here, or you can also tap on custom and then tap into your gallery. And I'm just going to browse to the one I want to use, which is this one. And you can also change the size of the pointer and then just tap on use. And then inside your settings, you want to search for air view. So you want to toggle this on. And now you can see my custom S Pen cursor is showing up. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can customize what happens when you hold down the pen button and double tap the screen. So I'm just going to turn this on. And here I'm going to choose my most commonly used app. And now you can hold down the pen button and double tap to open up your favorite app. So if you're browsing the internet and you find something that you want to save, you can open up Samsung Notes in a split screen panel. Then I'm going to tap to create a new note. And here you can see it's prompting me to add a link or the entire page. So I'm going to tap on link. And here is the web link that you can access again later. Or alternatively, you can add the entire page into the note. And here you can see it's added the text as well as the images. If you want to save only some of the text, you can just select everything and then tap on add to note. This will add just that selection of text along with the web link. A quick way to take a screenshot is to tap on the S Pen icon and then tap on Smart Select. And then you can just draw the area that you want to take a screenshot of. And you can also tap on the pen icon to make annotations and then just tap on the save icon to save that screenshot. You can also extract the text out of an image by taking a screenshot and then tap on pin. And now you can tap on it and then tap on this icon here. You can just long press on the text to select it. Another cool thing you can do is to take a screenshot using the Smart Select tool and then tap on this icon here and you can see it's selected around the shoe. And then if you tap on done, it can remove the entire background. It's not done a perfect job in this case, but it's still a nice feature to have. Another useful tool inside the Air Command panel is this magnifying glass. And this allows you to magnify images if you hover over it. And once you're done, you can just close it up here. If you have lost the S Pen floating icon, you can come into settings into Air Command. And then down here, you can toggle on show Air Command icon on and off, and it should appear again. Another quick way to take a screenshot is to swipe the edge of your palm in from the left edge of the screen. And you can also tap on this icon here to get a full page screenshot. And then you can just tap on it and save that to your gallery. If gestures are not working for you, you can come into settings, search for motions and gestures, and make sure these are enabled. 
The Samsung clipboard can be found by swiping from the edge of the screen and here you can find the edge panel and you can swipe through this to access other apps and information and this is very useful because you can save text and images and you can just select it and then tap on copy and now you can paste that information into note-taking apps, emails and messages. The clipboard can be shared by other Samsung devices so you can copy something on your phone and paste it over on the tablet. You can customize the edge panel by tapping on the settings icon here and this allows you to select what you want to see and you can also edit individual panels as well. If you found this video useful then you're going to like my what's on my Samsung tablet video where I share more of my favorite apps and what's on my home screen. Hit that like button and drop me a comment to let me know what other Samsung videos you'd like to see or did I miss out your favorite tip that you'd like to see covered next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching!